Hi, and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours of HUD homes in and around the San Antonio and Houston area. I've been specializing in HUD homes since 1996, and in 2012 I started filming real virtual tours like the one you're about to watch. So connect with me by clicking on one of our social media links, or if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button to be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Missouri City. Missouri City is located southwest of Houston, and we are in the Woodland West neighborhood. This is 715 Crestwood Lane. That's 715 Crestwood Lane. It's a four-bedroom, three-bath home, approximately 2,203 square feet. It was built in 1976, and it sits on about a 6,900-square-foot lot. This home is eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive, and it's actually about $40,000 underneath the county appraisal. It is quite a bit underneath the county appraisal, but for a good reason. This home is going to need some work. There's looks like there's some possible foundation issues, and it may have even had some water in it previously. But there is a loan that you can use to buy it that not only is the $100 down payment incentive, but you can borrow money to do the repairs. It's called an FHA 203K loan. It's a great loan if you're looking to buy a home and borrow money to fix it up. Of course, you do have to be an owner-occupant, not an investor. So most of the home does have an, an exterior that's brick. There is some, it looks like, aluminum siding around the exterior, which is nice. But you definitely want to have the foundation inspected. So let's take a look at the backyard and then we'll look at the inside. But before we go into the backyard, I do want to show you some evidence that they probably have the foundation already repaired. You see these squares on the porch that look like a different color of cement. And that's usually evidence that they have done some foundation repairs, but it still needs some tweaking, I think. So let's take a look at the backyard and then we'll look at the inside. Well, we step into the backyard off of a door in the living room and it actually has a really nice lot. I like the big mature trees. In fact, this neighborhood is very nice. People really take care of their homes here. This just happens to be one that's going to need some TLC for sure. Now, I like that all four sides of the lower part of the home are brick. And then it's just a few pieces of the upper part that are that uh, aluminum siding. So exterior-wise, as you can see, good size lot. Needs a little cleaning up. And the home does need some pressure washing on the exterior. And maybe a fresh coat of paint on some of the trim. So let's take a look at the inside. Well, when we step into the room, the first thing we are in is really like a formal dining room right up front. And the whole house is going to need a fresh coat of paint and it's going to need flooring. It's also going to need some sheetrock work. So that's kind of a synopsis of what everything is going to need material-wise inside. It's also going to probably need to have the foundation worked on. You can't tell in the video, but I can tell walking in that the foundation still needs some work. It does feel like it's sloping in some parts. You may have noticed when we walked in that the garage was converted. If we turn to the right here, we actually step down into the first section of the garage that's been converted. It's almost like a little potential bedroom. There's no closet, so technically it can't be labeled as a bedroom, but um, you know they didn't close the wall. They should have built the floor up, in my opinion. You can see it still has that step down from the garage. So if we were to continue in, then we come into your family room. It's a decent sized family room. You do have a fireplace, this high vaulted ceiling. And then one thing I do want to point out, you'll notice there is some cracks here on the sheetrock from the settling. So that's definitely something to note. So when we step into your family room, you do have a fireplace over here. You have a little breakfast area off of the kitchen. And then we have your kitchen. So it's a modest sized kitchen, not a whole lot of countertop space, not a lot of cabinet space, but you know, you could definitely make it functional, come in and completely redo the cabinets and put some flooring in here. We come over to the master bedroom, which is downstairs, which I think is nice. Now, you do have this door that takes you to the backyard. Then we come through this little hallway here, and we actually have your full bath number one, which is a single vanity. And then it's a shower and tub combo in here. Uh, now, what's interesting about this sort of a setup is that the master bedroom actually use, uses that bathroom. So here's your master bedroom, bedroom number one. Or it could be a downstairs guest bathroom. It just depends on how you wanted to make use of the space. There is a little hole in the sheetrock there, which needs some repairs. And then most of the, uh, there, there are a few walls in here that will need repairs. You do have dual closets in this room. And that's a little hole there, a little patch here. So this could potentially be the master. If it is the master, then you'll have to use this bathroom as your master. So let me continue around the corner over here and I'll show you the remainder of the garage has been converted. We come through and we actually have a little storage space here. And this is the second part of the garage that's been converted. So this is like another potential second living room. 
they did vent it, which is nice. They ran some duct work. And then we come over here and we have your laundry room. So your washer and dryer connections are here inside this little room on the opposite side or next to the garage rather. And then we will make our way upstairs. And you can see there's no carpet on the staircase, so you're going to definitely want to carpet that or tile it or wood. When we get up to the top of the staircase, pan down and show you just a little lower view of the house, the living area. We come over to bedroom number two. So bedroom number two, upstairs is going to need some windows, some a little bit of flooring, painting in here, but it's a good size bedroom. You're definitely going to need flooring upstairs. And there's a little more evidence of some settling. You can see the sheetrock's pulled away from the wall a little bit. We come over to bedroom number three, which will need a fresh coat of paint, flooring, and a little sheetrock work. Bedroom number four. Bedroom number four is going to need flooring, painting, and this bedroom actually has its own bathroom, so this could potentially be your master if you wanted. It's a little bit of a tight space here, single vanity, shower and tub combo, and a commode, but this bedroom does have its own bathroom, which is nice. And then bathroom number three here, full bath number three, which is also a shower and tub combo and a single vanity with ceramic tile on the floor. This room really needs just painting. So. Yeah, even though this home is about $40,000 underneath the county appraisal, it is going to need quite a bit of work. I would start with the foundation and then go from there, but it is eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 715 Crestwood Lane. That's 715 Crestwood Lane in Missouri City, Texas. A big four-bedroom, three-bath home. It's about $40,000 underneath the county appraisal. It's going to need quite a bit of work, but I think it has a ton of potential. It's one of the lowest priced homes in the neighborhood square footage wise, but you're going to need to put a lot of work in it. This home is listed right now for only $136,000. So if you're interested in this home or you have any questions, please call me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King and I want to help you find your castle.